But you are a maverick. The, You're a man who doesn't no, believe in no, operating. No, no, I'm not a maverick. I, I think it's an art, and you, you get to the edge, but you don't fall off the precipice, and you stay within the, the conventions of the system, but you push the system in the direction that it should be going. And what I think is very important is to push the system into a more representative uh, direction. To say that uh, that little girl there, or that little girl there, or this little girl here made a choice on being poor, uh, I think begs the question to the point of being ridiculous. Anybody who says it can't be done uh, really doesn't have the will. The people must know the full story of what has occurred over the past 20 years within their government. Human beings are being killed as I speak to you tonight. Killed as a direct result of policy decisions we as a body have made. It's like going into the Senate. You know, the first time you get there, you're all excited. My God, how did I ever get here? Then about six months later, you say, how the hell did the rest of them get here? <laughs> you know, and, and I got to tell you, after standing up with them, some of these people frighten me. They frighten me. When, when you have mainline candidates that turn around and say that there's nothing off the table with respect to Iran, that's code for using nukes, nuclear devices. Arms. Arms are being servered. Metal is crashing through human bodies because of a public policy. This government First off, understand that this war was lost the day that George Bush invaded Iraq on a fraudulent basis. George Bush communicated over a year ago that he would not get out of Iraq until he left office. Do we not believe him? You pass a law, not a resolution, a law, making it a felony to stay there. And I'll give you the text of it and let the American people see clearly who's keeping the war going and who's not. And that's just the beginning of the tactic if they're tough enough to do it. And I thought it was important to stand up there and show people what I am and what I stand for. I believe in people. In fact, for this direct democracy, it's unreserved faith in the people. We got a team that's going to go forward that is just awesome. And whether I'm around or not is, is beside the point. They could pull off direct democracy. All they're trying to do is to convey one simple message. Here's an ordinary citizen called Mike Gravel. And what he's doing, he's trying to make a change in society. And then he's going on with his life or to death. Who knows? And if some talking heads don't have enough artistry in their hearts to understand what these kids were doing, that's their problem. He is the author of this footage. This is his own campaign ad. Why would any presidential candidate produce a video that is this strange? Throwing a rock in the water was a metaphor for causing ripples and changes in society and then walking down and disappearing. Isn't that what life's about?